Hey guys, Heather here from Tie Dyed Iguana, and today we're going to talk about one of the grossest things that can happen with your snake uh, if you're a snake owner regurgitation. Now, uh, regurgitation is uh, really gross, really stinks, but uh, there's usually a reason for it, and today we're going to talk about what can cause your snake to regurgitate their meal. First, we'll cover kind of what regurgitation is. Uh, regurgitation usually occurs shortly after eating a meal, maybe a day or so after eating a meal, perhaps a couple of days. And you'll usually find in their tank, you'll find undigested food. Like you might find a really goopy looking, uh, like this one, if it would eat a little, little uh, fuzzy mouse or something, uh, you would find a partially digested mouse somewhere in the tank. Um, it's usually not digested all the way, but depending on when they throw up, that'll kind of determine what stage of di uh, rip being broken down it is. That is what you'll look for. You'll look for something that's really goopy, gross, and it, it really stinks too. So you'll definitely, it'll definitely smell like death in your tank when they regurge. Now, one of the most common reasons for your snake regurging is that you handle it too soon after feeding it. Um, kind of imagine if you decide to eat a huge meal and then you decide to go on a roller coaster or a spinning, spinning ride afterwards. You would probably end up throwing up everywhere. And that is exactly what it is like for a snake when it gets held like right after eating. It gets moved around, not feeling good, stressed out, and it kind of panics and just up chucks. <laughs> so yeah, you definitely don't want to handle your snake right after eating. And uh, we usually give ours at least 24 hours after feeding until we handle them again. So. Yeah, you'll definitely want to give them some time for their food to settle. <laughs> now, the second reason is another really common reason why these guys might uh, regurge their food is if it's either too cold in their tank or too hot. You want to make sure that they have the proper temperature. Uh, they need that nice heat to be able to digest their food and if it's too cool in the tank, they don't have that and they end up regurging because, you know, they can't digest it. It'll just sit in there and make them sick, so they just up chuck it. And then also, if you have it way too hot in their tank and they do end up eating, they'll most likely throw it up too because their body is really stressed out. Uh, they're way too overheated and everything, so we've seen it where ones get way too hot and they just throw up and uh, throw up their food and yeah it just causes way too much stress on the system so too hot or too cold will definitely cause them to regurge. Another common reason why a snake might regurge is because of improper feeding. Uh, for example if you would feed something too large to a snake it might initially try to eat it and then realize, uh-oh, this is way too big. And then they'll just regurgitate it back out. For our guys, we feed them a size prey about one and a half times the fattest part of their body. And that is usually a good way to determine what size of prey to feed your animal. They'll also throw up something like if, say, if a snake were in the wild and it ate something like a toxic animal, like a toad or something, like a cane toad or something, like you would find out in other countries, uh, that would cause them to regurge. Um, you shouldn't have a problem at all with something like that with your animals because you'll get uh, captive, you'll get captive braised prey items for your animals, so they shouldn't have anything wrong with them. Also, overfeeding your snake can cause regurge. If you try to feed them too many prey items at once, right at one right after another after another, uh, they could possibly just get too much in them and just have to regurgitate. And then sometimes you get snakes that decide to swallow their food backwards. And sometimes snakes, a lot of times snakes can deal with that, but if it's a really a larger prey item and they're trying to swallow it backwards it can irritate their their digestive tract and that might cause them to regurge so 
Some are just silly that way. Now this next reason uh, usually happens when people feed their snakes and uh, place a food item like on a towel or something inside where they're going to feed them and uh, the snake might end up actually eating the towel either it could be a cloth towel or a paper towel that the items placed on while they're swallowing the prey item itself and that can definitely cause them to want to throw up everything if they eat something that they're not supposed to so got to make sure nothing like that happens and then also for those that feed their snakes inside the enclosure uh, if they accidentally get uh, substrate on the prey item and end up swallowing that that may irritate them so much that they gotta just throw everything up too so anything that they swallow that's not right can cause them to want to throw up everything now another reason why a snake may regurge is that they don't uh, have enough water to drink to kind of help the food item go down the digestive tract uh, if you don't give it a proper amount of water and everything if it's dehydrated or something it may not have enough fluids to kind of so help soften things in there so it may end up throwing up that too so that's just another thing you gotta look out for and last but not least, but usually more uncommon, are medical reasons why they regurge their food. Some of the medical reasons can include internal parasites, uh, bacterial infections like salmonella. Also, they develop tumors that can kind of block things up. And some other medical conditions like stomatitis, septicemia. Just uh, basically if they get sick, they can regurge just simply because of the fact they don't feel good. All right, so that is it for reasons why a snake might regurge. If you think there's something medically wrong with your snake uh, for the reason why it's regurging, always make sure you take it to a vet, a vet that, can, uh, that has experience dealing with reptiles like snakes and lizards. And we hope none of our snakes uh, Regurge today. Uh, Danielle's feeding them over there. Hi, Danielle. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so, yeah, we usually don't have issues here, but uh, every once in a while we get a snake that regurges. So, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time.